Hi friends, it's Sarah from rufflesandrainboots.com. So we are starting another whole big round of people who have taken patterns and used them in ways they shouldn't have. And it's a frustrating experience. So I thought what, what I could do is just share with you the process of how I create patterns. It's a pretty lengthy process. So it is January and I am working on Easter already because the patterns have to be tested many, 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 many times. We also test different fabrics. We also test different methods of both sewing and non-sewing. And, you know, I just thought that I would share not only for everybody who's awesome, but also for those people who are less than awesome and just purchase my patterns, repackage them and try and sell them. So while my attorney handles all of that, I thought I could just share with you how I create the patterns. So what I'm doing here is just drawing. So sometimes I have shared the digital images that I've created on my iPad. I like to sketch out on Procreate because it just becomes a little bit neater um, than this. But you can see I am not doing anything in proportion. I'm just sort of getting an idea of what it would be a cute little fellow. So I drew one of these about two years ago and never got around to it because if you don't know him, Dwayne King is an amazing guy, but he made like a hat pattern and I didn't want to step on his toes back then. I really like promoting other gnome makers and just sharing like their stuff on Pinterest and stuff. So I never published anything with a top hat. Do I have a top hat pattern? Oh yeah, I have two. But I do try and just share other people's stuff, you know, to spread the love. So this one is going to be probably the first and only time I release a top hat pattern. Um, not sure, because I, I'll show you ways that I've made top hats before actually in this, so that in case you want to create your own little guy, I can show you exactly how it was created. It doesn't take a lot of stuff. And there may be other known creators I don't know about who've already shown how to do this stuff. Again, I'm a busy gal with multiple businesses. I don't really um, watch a lot of other creators except those who participate inside of my Facebook group. So I'm going to speed this part up here. This is just notes to myself, you know, ways that we could just change things, make things easier, make it for no sew as well as sewing, what we could do with cast offs. And here is what I can say. We all know we can create a top hat using a cup and some cardboard. This is a Dollar Tree cup, but I asked myself, like, is that where I want to go? Do I want to offer a full hat pattern? Do I want to use fabrics that I have that are gorgeous? I have two colors of this, this pale pink and this gray. It's a velvet home decor fabric, and it's amazing. However, it's not going to be accessible to everybody. So I have to kind of think about things like that. Like, what are people going to be able to find? Could they use felt instead of fleece? You know, it does the fabric need to have some stretch in order for it to actually work with this pattern? So I'm kind of running through a whole lot of stuff before I get to this section, which we call CAD cardboard aided design so this is start you know where i start figuring out proportions like what kind of size do i want to make what is good for shipping for all of my sellers uh as part of my audience you know what can i do to increase the stability of things that is what i'm doing here is just making additional notes what words do i want to um sort of want people to notice when they see this entire pattern and then I start and decide the fabrics. Like it has to end up being accessible to everybody and I'll put my pretty stuff away. This entire process, just to get to this far, took me 30 minutes. That's it. And now we start the other part of the process, right? This is the part of the process. This is actually how fast I'm cutting. Um, this is the part of the process where I make a lot of mess, to be honest. My husband came home this day and went, what happened? Your craft room was so nice. And, you know, I told him, oh, I'm starting a new pattern. So here you can see I just start tinkering. And I'll just tell you that didn't work. <laughs> so I have to continue tinkering. So in order to not waste fabric, I'm just going to cut a little bit off. I'm going to repeat the process. And guess what? That also did not work. So I'm going to cut it off, repeat the process. And this is a long and arduous task. And keep in mind, this is the first 
ta take at it, right? Like this is just the first one. So once I have an idea of what I'm actually going to do, then I start working on the actual patterns. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to mock up each piece. And then what I start looking at is the proportions of everything. So sometimes I'll create a really big body and then I'll have to alter it. Here's the body portion. The reason I would be altering this portion is because a lot of people are not going to want to put three cups of polyfill inside of the body. It will be a very large gnome. It would be a very heavy gnome to ship. So you'll see me here. This I'm already going to start cutting this down. I guarantee you I will cut it down again before I ever publish this pattern. I also have to make notes about things like stretch. Where are, is the stretch going to be? You know, are these ears going to fit my proportions for the hat and the body? Do I actually change the design at this point? Or do I make something bigger, something smaller, right? I'm trying to appeal to a large number of people because I know once you have the base, you're going to be able to decorate these in so many amazing ways. My job is to not provide you, you know, the entire end all be all. My job is to provide you enough to just inspire you to make something, right? That's what I see my job as. So once I start getting an idea of proportions, then I start narrowing things down. You can see now we're only at a half inch. You can see I'm making notes over here on the side. I'm really trying to figure out, you know, proportions of everything like arms, like mittens. By the way, I made like six different mittens for this one thing, which I edited out. But you can see, I'm actually going to create this stuff. Can you guess what those are? I don't know if anybody's going to guess what those are, but here are all the pieces that I've got, okay? So, and I'll just tell you, this isn't finalized. This isn't done. All of these pieces here, aren't even put together, okay? This process took two hours. Join me next week while I share the next step in the journey.